has begun for the Renault RS01 Grand Prix. We don't know our tiers yet, but you can look at the screen. I didn't look at this before. There's only 15 players in each group in the tiers for the final. But these tiers are only defined after qualification. So you do not know your tier until qualifying finishes and the finals begin. What's happened today is we've all been grouped into groups of 20 people, I think, for qualifying. And you need to finish in the top 10 to qualify. And there's a Q1 and then there's Q2. And if you don't pass either of them, you have to pay tokens to enter. I drove slowly in practice yesterday so that my opponents in my qualifying group would be of a similar level and have driven a similar lap time yesterday and hopefully I can drive better today and beat them and easily come in the top 10 and then I definitely don't have to pay the tokens to play this event. As for winning the key, I'm not that concerned, I'm indifferent, I don't want to invest tokens in this car, I think that this is one of the cars that's destined to come back a year later with a key hump for the people that didn't unlock it now. And I don't have the Roma maxed or the Porsche Club Sport maxed. So I can't get the key for the W12 without them anyway. And you don't need the key for this car to get the key for the W12. You just need to star it up and you can star it up and not get the key. If, if I somehow magically star up the Club Sport and the Roma before this Grand Prix ends. What I'm going to do today, so people ask about sandbagging a lot. I've tried to explain it before. You, you need to be able to drive faster in qualifying than you did in practice. And then you need to be able to drive faster in the finals than you do in qualifying. So you kind of need to just hold back a little so that you can improve when the next stage comes because of how it groups you with other players and because other players are doing this. So because other players are doing this, if you drive your best in qualifying now, you'll be grouped, you'll be tiered with people with similar times and then many of them will have driven slower than they could have and immediately overtake you. I was going to drive around with the car at stock, but I actually can't be bothered. So I'm just going to up, because I would prefer to drive it upgraded. I might leave one upgrade lower. Well, I might leave that acceleration import part off and one import off there just so I can add, add a tiny bit of rank for the finals just in case I accidentally do a fantastical lap by accident <laughs> I'm thinking what route I how I want to do this I don't know until I feel the car and know the nitro state. I'm thinking about the barrel roll, the second barrel ramp, whether I want it or not in this car. It all depends what, there's already a ghost. You have to select this first barrel quite late, otherwise it can slow you. You can 360 there, but it can, it can be difficult to control. Because I've shocked waved and used up my nitro, Already, I'm not going to take that barrel ramp. If I had full nitro and I could shockwave through that ramp cleanly, I would have done that. Save that little bit for going around there. Pulse it going around the corners. Boost it when you're in the air on that bit. Start drifting here to get to a shockwave. Go through the bottles and hit that and go left. Oh, that was messy. That was really messy. This car is tough to control. try another lap after this get in the air hit I, the worst thing ever is crashing into that cliff get round okay 119.9 Let's try another run.
I've done that time now, so I can't. I won't concern myself. I know people have done 118. I, I'm not even. That time's probably still tier three, 119.9. I'll have to do a better lap if I want tier two. I'm not concerned what tier I get. But I just want to know that I can drive a little bit faster when the finals start. Otherwise, I will finish 8th to 12th in my group, whatever happens. So yeah, I clip the... Let's try... Sp oh... Sorry, I'm just randomly mumbling words now. <laughs> if I get the shockwave back here. It means you've just got so much more nitro coming through this section. If you manage to maintain a shockwave into that foot into that second barrel ramp. Select that earlier this time. Select that left quickly. slow down too much. This car does take learning. It's kind of why I don't mind if I have it or not because I've got better C-class cars that are easier to drive. So it'd be so rare me choosing this car for multiplayer for Silver League. 18. I want to slow down a bit. <laughs> okay. They're my routes at the moment. I'm going to do a real qualifying run later. And I'm pretty sure I'll be able to qualify in my group. I'm probably I'm not going to try and make that lap much better. Because I'll make my life hard in the finals. Good luck guys. I'm madder than you.